Hey, good afternoon. Chuck here with Apple Drains. You know, I've been thinking about making this video all the way back here to the shop. And if you watch the first video where we fixed this little problem for 10 bucks, this video is similar, but another area of the yard that holds water, can we do it twice? Can we duplicate our results? So we're gonna find out, test it out when we're done. It's supposed to rain in about an hour. So hopefully I can get it all together before it rains. Vertical drainage. Basically, we're digging a hole straight down into the ground. We've got to get below the hard pan. That's the key. Get below the hard pan, put some fabric in there, some gravel, bring it back up to grade, put the sod back on the top, and will it drain that small area? This works best if you're not allowed to send it to the street. Remember, we're trying to keep our costs down. That horizontal drain, the French drain, yard drains, so costly to do and basically we're just moving water from one spot to another but what if we can go straight down into the ground and get rid of that water of course this little vertical drain is not going to replace a french drain or a yard drain cat basins there's definitely applications for that but if you've got a small area of the yard that holds water and you're not allowed to send it out to the street vertical drainage might be the answer to that so we're going to test this system out Remember, the first video was really good. It worked pretty well, but let's try it again and see how well it actually does work. I've been watching a lot of videos from the Netherlands and Europe about this particular subject, vertical drainage. And you know what? I thought, I gotta try this. If you watch the first video, it shows how well it does work. But I've got another area of the yard that we're gonna try it in today. So I've been thinking about making this video all the way back here to the shop and it's gonna rain. I'm sorry I'm so dirty we did an install, but I think we have enough time to do this. Should, shouldn't take more than 20 minutes to do this. And you can do this too. This is an easy DIY, but does it work? If we can get rid of the horizontal drainage, French drain, yard drains, wow, can we save some money. Let's try this out and I'll give you the results. You gotta see the results because wow, this is gonna really make a difference in how you approach your yard drainage problem. So the first thing we're going to do is cut off a section of sod. We want to cut off about a 9 by 9 section. Just use your shovel, 9 by 9, and pop out this plug. Set that over on your tarp because we're going to put that back. Next, using your post hole diggers, Go ahead and dig down to the hard pan. You gotta get down to the hard pan for this to work. So we wanna get down about 24 inches. You can hear me hitting the hard pan right there. If you don't know what the hard pan is, this is a non-permeable soil and it's like rock hard. Once you get down to about 24 inches, you should be below your hard pan. So here's our vertical drain. We need a little piece of fabric. It doesn't matter what kind of fabric it is, as long as it's a good fabric that drains out. We're gonna push it down into the hole, open it up. We're gonna fill this up with gravel. We're gonna fill this up with gravel. This is gravel by the bag. It's an inch and a half crushed washed stone. You can find it at Lowe's or Home Depot, about $5 a bag. Really easy to do this. You can see I brought the gravel all the way to grade. Now we just fold the fabric over. Now fold the fabric over. Take your sod, put it back on the top. And we're ready to test out vertical drainage. So I'm going to dig a, one more hole. I'm not going to cut side. I'm just going to use my post hole diggers. Well, we might be able to put that back. But we're going to get down to the hard pan. Just use your post hole diggers. Try to get as deep as you can. You can hear that hard pan. Hear it? That's just super hard soil. It's non-permeable. It won't let water go through it. 
Post hole diggers really do a great job to dig a straight down hole. Shovel works, but the post hole diggers really are a little bit better. Remember, we want to get below that hard pan about 24 inches deep. So we've got a hole about 24 inches deep. We're going to use another piece of fabric. Just push it in. Open it up. And we're going to pour some gravel down in that hole. Gravel by the bag. I'm really excited about this project and I hope that you guys try this out. This could really change things here in the industry. Yes, we still need French drains and we need catch basins and things like that, but what if we can solve these smaller problems for under $10? You guys can do this. This is an easy DIY project. I can't wait to see the results. Try to bring your gravel as close to grade as possible. Then fold your fabric over. There was a little bit of sod, so I'm gonna set that back on top. Throw some dirt in there. Now we just need to clean up the area, haul that old dirt away. That's no good, we gotta get rid of that. Let's just see, let it rain, let's see what it does. Let's do one more hole right here. And again, I'm not too worried about my sod. We just want to get down to the hard pan. There it is. After watching all those videos about vertical drainage in Europe and in Australia and New Zealand as well, you know, but they didn't show results. So I made the first video and it worked pretty good. I showed that, but let's take a look at this one. This is a little bit different. I'm going to add a small three inch grate on the top of this vertical drain. This will allow any flooding to drop directly through the hard pan into the soil below. Let's see if this works any better. So a third hole, 24 inches deep. Little piece of landscape fabric. Push it down in. Now we're gonna pour some gravel in here. pour some gravel in. There were a number of comments um, from senior citizens actually about this project on the first video and I really hope that they gave it a try. This is not hard to do. It doesn't take a lot of energy. You can do this. We want to we want to bring that gravel to grade. Perfect. See we brought that gravel right up to the top. Fold this over. Tuck it down in. And what I'm gonna do here is actually put a grate on the top. So I put a grate on the top. Now all we need to do is step it down. And let it rain. We'll haul this old soil away. So we just had a pretty good rainfall and yeah, there's some spongy areas. You can see that, but look how much difference there is in this area that we put the vertical drains. That is just amazing. It really did work pretty good. What I want to show you though, but what I want to show you is, remember I've talked about fabric and how it slows down the inflow of water. So area one, area two, we have fabric all the way around it right up to the top but where we have the grate watch this this is amazing That looks like it'll take water all day. Straight into the ground below the hard pan. Look at that. Vertical drainage. The secret is to get below the hard pan.
Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Dreams, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. I did a live consultation with a new company in Houston, Texas, just the other day, and Manny, the owner, showed me some of their work, and wow, these guys are really on the ball. I highly recommend that you give them a call. Flood Mitigators, link is in the description box below.